So what are the biggest challenges facing current international law? That's, that's a difficult question because international law is so, is so huge. It's, it's, so, it's so diverse. Um, let me start by talking about a slightly different question, which is the biggest challenges facing international lawyers. So one of the biggest challenges that faces international lawyers is because the discipline is expanding so quickly, it's very difficult now, I think, for people to have an overview of the discipline as a whole. Very difficult for people to be able to see how things fit together in the discipline as a whole. You know, in international law, we talk about the challenge of fragmentation. The discipline is sort of fragmenting, and so it's difficult to sort of see the, the connections. Challenges facing international law as, as a whole. B before I get to, to the challenges, I think one of the positive things about international law today is that I think the, it's never been more relevant and the relevance of international law has never been as appreciated as it is now. So now I go to places and I say I, I, I'm an international lawyer. It's rare that people say, what does that mean? Whereas I think 20, 30 years ago, people would have said, what does that mean? Okay, so the relevance of it is appreciated, but that only highlights some of the weaknesses, which is people know it exists, people know it has something to say, but then the question of how do I implement it? How do I actually make it do the work that it's supposed to do? That It's always been a challenge, but I think the challenge is is kind of magnified because people know it exists and they know that international has something to say, but then the question is, well, but how do I make it work? You know, how do I make it do the work that it's supposed to, to do? Um, but I should say, I mean, very quickly, that even though that is a challenge, implementation, um, challenge of making it effective, it's not a new challenge. And I think it's the sort of thing that we have to see over time, you know, where have we come from? Where are we going to? And I think very often, actually, also people underestimate the effectiveness of international law. And sometimes maybe we overestimate the effectiveness of law, even our domestic law, as well.